And you mentioned the film. So, I mean, it's all going on. Sequel it film. It has all been going on. Yes, we've has been... Has that been an amazing experience? It's been amazing. I mean, the very odd thing when you get to a certain age, shall we say, <laughs> I may be in my 30s, just possibly. 23, 23. is a very um, crucial age. Is that you think you know where your life is going and you think you know what skills you've acquired and learning to write a screenplay and having other people's input and watching the way a film comes together has has basically been like being on the sharpest of learning curves but I love it I absolutely love it in fact I've gone on to adapt another one of my books since and I'm now working on a third uh, because I've just I find that you're either a visual writer or you're mm. somebody who has to spend hours crafting a sentence because of how it sounds well I'm the former and I think that may lend itself naturally it well, you've done your own yeah. adaptation it, I think it makes it easier it is I think if you see your story in scenes yes. then then that helps I mean any screenplay cannot have all the content that a novel has so did you find that a challenge that's the hardest thing is what you strip out mm -hmm. and, and maintain the integrity of the book so yes I think the killing your darlings thing is is exceptionally tough but most of the killing seems to go on quite early on in the process and I think what's really useful is working collaboratively where you have other people saying, well, you can't remove that because then that doesn't mm. work. And and it's it's a whole new experience because when you're a writer, it's just you and that blank page Absolutely. and your quiet room um, and all the responsibility lies with you. This is fascinating and frustrating and invigorating mm. and challenging because you are working with other people on, on one thing. So, no, it's been great. And, and also the best mm. bit, frankly, has been watching the two leads because... If I had been able to picture Will and Lou in my head, I couldn't have actually pitched them more realistically than, than Sam and Amelia. That um, is such a lovely thing to say. Really I was going nice. to come on to this. Casting is always such a massive issue when any book, especially a well-loved book, makes it onto the screen. Yeah. So you're well, happy. I'm really happy. Uh, I... I'd only known Amelia as the Khaleesi in Game of Thrones. So when they first suggested her, I thought, well, blonde, you know, <laughs> dragons. I don't <laughs> yes, know. I can't quite can't write I. any dragons <laughs> into my book. But actually, when you see her in person, she you just think, well, that's Lou. She's Lou. She's, she has the ability to look quite ordinary or exceptionally beautiful. She's a bit quirky. She's terribly warm. She has this amazing personality and um, as soon as I saw her I just thought she's she's the one and luckily everybody else agreed uh, and Sam again he he is such a, an intelligent performer so that everything he does you can see Will's intelligence there um, so I couldn't be happier frankly. this is this is a great story because it's you know you don't always have authors enthusing to such a degree so this is a good sign for the film no I feel I've been very lucky um, you know it's I'm very conscious that this is not a, a an ordinary experience no well it's not an ordinary book let's be honest I mean it's an extraordinary book and and so you know I as a reader as a fan I'm hoping that the film does it justice and is an extraordinary film and I, I will be taking six boxes of Kleenex <laughs> when I go to see it well all I can say is I have been there at every turn of the script and um, I don't think I could have fought any harder luckily everybody who's involved seems to have a very similar vision